What you doing out here? Yeah, me too. It's getting really stuffy in there. <laughs> you know, the thought of a Halloween party seems really nice at first. Get to dress up, you know, and celebrate the eventful season with everyone. But it kind of gets less nice when there's lots of people. Or maybe it's just the venue. Maybe we need something bigger than someone's house. <laughs> Too many people for one place. So, yeah. Some air is nice. Unless you actually wanted to be alone, alone. Alright, good. I kind of like it out here. Oh, thanks. I, uh, wish I spent more time on it, but I've been busy lately, so I kind of had to throw it all together. The traditional dead bride, or corpse bride, going as dead bride because I didn't have time to actually make it look 100% like the corpse bride, but nonetheless. Plus, I didn't feel like painting myself blue. <laughs> But I like your costume, too. Yeah, I do. It's not a fake compliment, I mean it. It suits you well. So, uh, are you, um, you okay? Sorry, I just wanted to ask. You seemed, I don't know. So I just wanted to make sure I asked in case I should. <laughs> Are you sure? Just not in the party mood? No, I get you. It can get a bit overwhelming at times, especially when a party gets this big. <laughs> I guess you could say I'm not in the party mood either. What do you mean, really? Do I look like a partier to you? Oh, well, yeah, I love Halloween. But Halloween parties don't always feel Halloween-y, you know? I mean, it kind of did at the start, but I think everyone kind of invited their own friends, and they're friends of friends, and so this kind of got a little bit more crowded than I thought it was going to be. But who needs them anyways? We can have our own little Halloween thing out here. A lot more spooky. A chilling autumn night. I think it's a lot more entertaining than what's going on in there. Like, I can't believe they have bobbing for apples. <laughs> That's also really gross. Can you imagine how much bacteria is in there right now? <laughs> no, no, um... Yeah. Parties can be overwhelming. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Honestly, I don't think humans were meant to interact that way anyways. Plus, I think this might start becoming a fire hazard. <laughs> so no, I'm very happy to be out here with you. Yeah. No, really, I mean it. Will you stop questioning my decisions? No, I know. I know what you mean. But no, I'm serious. I... It's really nice out here. It's nice out here with you. Actually, when 
I was in there, I was kind of looking for you. I couldn't find you. Yeah. We rarely get to hang out, so I, um... And I heard you were coming to the party, which I was a little bit surprised about, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to finally hang out with you. I kept on asking around where you were at, and someone would always tell me some, like, a different area of the house, so I kept on searching around. And as I was searching around, I kind of realized that it didn't seem, no place that I was told really seemed like an area you'd want to hang out in. And then I realized I didn't search one place that you probably would be, which is out here. Yeah, I want to hang out with you. Do you not want to hang out with me? <laughs> Just checking. But yeah, I do. <laughs> You're not sure why? Well, that's fine, because I know why, and that's all that's important. Actually, no, scratch that. It is important that I know why I want to hang out with you, but you should know why I want to hang out with you, too. Well, anytime I've been around you, you've always been just, I don't know, you're just a genuinely nice person, and that's really hard to come by these days. With a lot of the same interests. And you seem really fun to be around. And that's the truth. And you should know it. Don't ever think that you're anything less than that. You're a lot better than a lot of those people in that house, that's for sure. I don't know, like, 90% of them. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I really think that about you. More than you probably realize. <laughs> you don't think I noticed you? I don't know why you think that. I mean, I guess we don't really get to spend a lot of time together, but any chance I get, I usually do. Or, even if you didn't realize it before, you should realize it now. <laughs> Whether you realized it or not, I was looking for you tonight. I'm glad I found you. Because I would hate for you to spend tonight all out here by yourself. I would hate for me to be wandering the house all by myself. <laughs> But, um, if I'm going to be honest, I, uh, I was kind of looking for you for another reason. Well, um, <laughs> I feel like I had a lot more courage about five minutes ago, but, um, I just, uh, no, it's nothing bad. It's nothing bad. It's, <laughs> I don't know why it's so hard to say. Not that it's hard to say because, like, I don't want to say it, but it's more hard to say because it's kind of intimidating depending on the reaction I get. I know, I'm sorry, that sounds really confusing. Um, alright. I was... I was looking for you. <laughs> I can't even speak. I was looking for you because I honestly, I really don't know. I just I, 
think I just wanted to be very forward with the fact that I really like you. Like, romantically like you, that wasn't clear. Um, are you gonna say anything? No, it's okay. I just, <laughs> you kind of were staring blankly at me, so I just wanted to be sure that you were okay. Well, you better believe it, because I just said it. So, what do you think about that? You like me too? You do? Well, I don't know, you... You always tended to be... I don't know, I thought you were just kind of wishy-washy about me, in a way. Or at least you were always quiet when I was around, so... Thought maybe you just... You know, weren't too interested. Oh. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I tend to talk too much when... I'm nervous versus being quiet, so... <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. Well, not glad to hear that you were nervous around me, I don't want that, but that you like me too. <sighs> well, I guess that depends on what you want to happen. Because after spending all night looking for you and weaving in between a bunch of really random Halloween costumes. All I really want to do is kiss you. If that's okay with you. <laughs> that's what you're concerned about? I don't care if you mess up the Halloween makeup I have on. Honestly, I'd welcome it. <laughs> that way, when I go home, I'll be reminded of when you did kiss me. Well, I'm gonna be completely cliche and probably cringy, but I feel like this is the only time I can actually say this line. You may kiss the bride. I know that was really bad, but I do mean it. <laughs> you know, I haven't been to a lot of Halloween parties, but I think this is my favorite. But I think I'm all partied out. What do you say, um, mean you get out of here and go back to my place? I have apple cider if that makes it more enticing. <laughs> Alright. Well then, follow me. And stay close, it's really crowded in there. 